I'm Luke Summerhays, and I love Dun Dun Sparks. In Pokemon Legends Arceus, we met Weirdeer, a majestic monster that delivered on the potential which had always been there in Stantler, as well as Overquill, a powerful evolution to the otherwise forgotten Quillfish. In pre-release trailers for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, we saw Farigarath, an evolution to the underdeveloped Girafferig. This led to speculation about what other forgotten second-generation Pokemon would be getting a much-needed evolution. I immediately began to see jokes and memes about Dunsparce, the deliberately useless comedy Pokemon based on the legendary, but not particularly powerful or useful, Japanese cryptid the Tsuchinoko, or Flat Snake. Some laughed off the idea that Dunsparce would ever get an evolution, while others speculated it would get some wildly powerful serpentine incarnation. To me, Dunsparce evolving was like Waluigi appearing in Smash. Actually doing it would ruin the joke. Waluigi is a character who exclusively appears in side games. Wario's friend, who drives go-karts and plays tennis, but has no involvement in epic adventures or legendary battles. Similarly, the whole point of Dunsparce is that it's rare and difficult to find, but it's just a dumb little snake. Then I saw Dun Dun Sparse. A Dun Sparse which levels up while it knows the move Hyper Drill will evolve into Dun Dun Sparse. Dun Dun Sparse looks pretty much like a Dun Sparse, though with an extra segment to the middle of its body. And Pokemon Scarlet's Pokedex entry could just be another Dun Sparse entry. The Pokemon uses its hard tail to make its nest by boring holes into bedrock deep underground. The nest can reach lengths of over 6 miles. The abilities and movesets of the Pokemon don't change much, though it does have a decent boost in stats which may make it a little better able to use some of the fun moves that Dunsparce used to abuse. Pokemon Violet tells us, It drives enemies out of its nest by sucking in enough air to fill its long, narrow lungs, then releasing the air in an intense blast. Most amusingly, there's also an alternative form of Dun Dun Sparse. It can only be obtained by evolving a Dun Sparse and being incredibly lucky with a 1 in 100 random chance. This alternative form has an extra segment again, but is otherwise completely identical. Pokemon Scarlet says of 3 segment form, The gentle Dun Dun Sparse will put Pokemon that wander into its nest onto its back and carry them to the entrance. While Violet tells us, A recent study uncovered that the number of segments a Dun Dun Sparse's body has is determined by the Pokemon's genes. The name, Dun Dun Sparse, just adds an extra Dun to Dun Sparse. Similarly, the Japanese name, Nokokochi, adds an extra Ko to Nokochi, the Japanese name for Dun Sparse. Dun Sparse was always a bit of a joke Pokemon. Twenty years later, to get this evolution may have annoyed or disappointed some players, but to me, it's the ultimate punchline. Music for Luke Love's Pokemon is composed by Jonathan Cromie. Artwork for the show is by Katie Groves. Writing, producing, and editing is by me, Luke Summerhays, while funding is provided by lovely listeners at patreon.com slash podcastiopodcastius. Next up are Great Tusk and Screamtail, so if you have thoughts about those or any other monsters, hit me up with a DM or an email to lukelovespkmn at gmail.com. If you like this podcast, please rate and review wherever you're listening, or tell a friend. If you want to hear more Pokemon chatter from me, come by twitch.tv slash lukelovespkmn, most Saturday nights from 9pm UK time. Even if you don't feel like doing any of that, thank you so much just for listening. I love Dun Dunsparce. And remember, I love you too.